Hey there everyone, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Transformers Hunt for the Decepticons Breacher Transforming Action Figure Set. This is a Scout Class Transformer and uh, was released in 2010. I found uh, Breacher at a Toys R Us, uh, I think it was either 7 or $8. And I'm not sure if this is a Toys R Us exclusive because uh, I could only find Breacher at Toys R Us, I couldn't find uh, him anywhere else. Taking a uh, look at uh, Breacher in the package here, it's a pretty neat uh, Scout Class Transformer. Uh, it's obviously going to be uh, out of scale in his uh, alt mode there, uh, but in his robot mod uh, mode, he looks uh, pretty neat. He, his head looks almost like uh, Optimus's uh, head there in design. Pretty interesting on there. Taking a uh, look at the back of the package, uh, there's a description of Breacher here. And it uh, looks like he's a friend of uh, Sea Spray there. And uh, here are some uh, stats uh, for Breacher. And a picture of Breacher in his uh, alt mode of an armored uh, personnel carrier there. Uh, obviously out of scale. And there's uh, Breacher in his... Uh, bot mode there. Pretty neat. Uh, he's got these uh, twin uh, lasers, I guess. Let's go ahead and uh, take uh, Breacher here out of the package and we'll be right back. Okay, uh, we have Breacher in his alt mode, uh, which is an amphibious armored personnel carrier. It's actually quite neat. Uh, but first, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the items that came with the figure. Uh, this one here is the Hunt for the Decepticons uh, code. I don't know if these are first come first serve, uh, use once only codes. Uh, but uh, I don't plan to use it so uh, if it's only used once, uh, grab it while you can <laughs> if you want to use it. Um, this one is here, you can use it to, to play some games I guess. Or missions I should say. And is only available until the end of January of uh, 2011 on there. Pretty neat. Next thing uh, we'll take a look at are the transformation instructions. <laughs> now this is my first uh, Scout class uh, transformer uh, in uh, quite a long while. And... <laughs> I had originally assumed it was a lot easier to transform, but this is a quite a complex transformation. Uh, we have here uh, changing to the vehicle mode or alt mode there, and it's got 19 steps. Uh, that's quite involved on there. And then you have on the other side uh, changing back to bot mode on there. So uh, pretty detailed steps on uh, a Scout class transformer. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Breacher here. It's actually uh, quite nice. Uh, lots of sculpted details. I like these little slits uh, for the windows. They have them on the sides and also on the front as well and also uh, painted windows in the front. It's pretty neat. It's got a set of uh, six wheels which are all free rolling independent of each other and uh, it rolls uh, quite well, uh, a lot better on uh, slightly rougher surfaces, like, uh, but uh, has a problem rolling all six wheels on, say, uh, glass, or very smooth surfaces. But on slightly rough surfaces like cloth, uh, it, it rolls uh, pretty well on here. Uh, taking a look at some of the details, you got some numbering there over here, and you have the uh, Autobot symbol and this one in the alt mode it's upside down uh, but uh, during the transformation to bot mode you twist this around and the uh, Autobot symbol is right side up uh, in the in the bot mode and which is what I prefer anyway so I don't mind so much that it's upside down in this mode on here there's some sculpted details in the door this is very nice and they even went so far as to detail some of the, like, you can, I don't know if you take a look at that, the, sh the shocks on here. And looking at the underneath, 
you really don't see too much of the uh, robot, which is very nice. A lot of it looks like uh, the underside of a vehicle on there. It's very, very cool. I really like that. And then you have this the cannon here, which uh, can rotate up and down. But when you do, it reveals some of the kibble in there. But uh, it, uh, besides uh, rotating uh, up, up and down, uh, you can also slide it uh, forward and back. It's kind of neat. And also, uh, this this is a turret. Also rotates all the way around. So this is actually a very nice. I really like it. I, I, I really like the details that they sculpt into the into this uh, alt mode of Breacher very very nice and uh, you can see it's an amphibious uh, APC very cool this and uh, this is so well designed uh, for a alt mode <laughs> really thinking about getting sea spray now <laughs> just uh, because he, yeah he's friends with sea spray <laughs> uh, it's actually quite nice I really like it I even like the tread design on the tires is pretty cool on there uh, but this is a breacher in his alt mode of an amphibious uh, APC. Very, very nice. And uh, we'll be right back and have breacher in his bot mode. Okay, uh, we have breacher here in bot mode. And I have to say that uh, both modes uh, for this transformer are excellent. Um, although in bot mode, I think it's just slightly better than the uh, alt mode. Uh, Still very excellent in both modes. Uh, taking a look at uh, Breacher here in more detail in his uh, bot mode, you can see uh, the nice design on here. And uh, you can see his head sculpt looks uh, very much like uh, Optimus Prime's head sculpt there. That's, that's very nice. Uh, I really uh, like the chest design here. It's got the Autobot symbol right side up on there. Let me just adjust that on there. And it's just a very, very nice figure in it for a scout class. Um, one thing I really love about this uh, figure here in, in his uh, bot mode are the uh, the joints. They're uh, removable uh, ball joints. Um, if they can, they can pop out, uh, and they they can easily be put back in. So it's not uh, that much of a problem unless the actual ball breaks. But uh, it's still, it's just very nice. You can get him in a whole bunch of cool poses, which is very, very, very nice. I really like it on there. Even some of the details on his leg there is very, uh, very cool. I like that. And, uh, oops, let me just put that there. Uh, one thing though, even though the, the joints are, uh, they are, they can pop out and pop back in, uh, and they can move uh, around. Uh, this one is very, very tight, even though uh, uh, they're ball joints. It's very tight ball joints, which is uh, which is uh, which is nice. Uh, it doesn't flop around or anything, and you can uh, you have to po uh, to pose it. You have to get just a good grip. Uh, if you don't have good grip in certain places, uh, the rest of the <laughs> figure will go with it. But if you want to pose the figure, you got to get tight grips and uh, really move it around on there. So, which is not a bad thing. So, this cannon here is can clip on to either either fist. Uh, it's got a little peg there. Uh, you can just clip it on there if you if you wish. And uh, it, during the transformation, it stays uh, in his back. I guess when not in use on there. Very neat on there and. Uh, I just really like the design. You can just get a whole bunch of cool poses out of this guy. It's very, very cool. So, but uh, going over the articulation of Breacher here in uh, his bot mode, his head uh, does go all the way around and does go up and down uh, quite a bit. And if you really move it, you can really get it way up on there. That's very nice. I like that. There. The arms uh, being on a ball joint uh, can go all the way around at the shoulder, go in and out, uh, forward and back. It even uh, has a a um, swivel here, a tiny swivel, not too much. Uh, the elbows are also on a ball joint, so they go all the way around, up and down. 
The hands are, I think, are also on a ball joint as well. Yeah, uh, they go all the way around, up and down. The only thing uh, with the torso here is uh, it doesn't rotate. Uh, I guess you can get it down. Uh, that's really from the transformation there. But uh, you you can get it down and up if you wish. The legs are also on a ball joint, so they go up, down. Uh, let me just move this to the back here, so you can actually move it to the back. Out to the side, very very neat. Uh, the weakest joint of uh, the figure is the knee. Uh, it, all it does is go up and down. You can't uh, rotate the knee at all. But still, uh, it's still uh, that's not a bad thing uh, considering all the joints in this figure. And the uh, legs or the feet uh, can go all the way around, up and down as well. So overall, a very nice. Uh, Transformer in both modes is very very cool. I really recommend this uh, guy if you can find him. And uh, like I said, uh, I've only been able to find this guy at Toys R Us. I don't know if he's sold anywhere else. Uh, I haven't seen him sold anywhere else so far. So if you want to get a breacher, I'd say uh, hit your Toys R Us. This is a very nice figure. I really recommend it. But this is um, my casual peek into the Transformers Hunt for the Decepticons uh, Breacher uh, figure. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.